Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our NHL 15 Be a Pro series following Rick DiPietro and the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, as many of you guys may or may not know from Twitter or in previous videos, my hard drive got completely wiped off my laptop, and unfortunately, I lost the episode where we played the Carolina Hurricane. So, I'm actually going to start up the intro secrets while I tell you guys about uh, what actually happened. So, unfortunately, my hard drive just shit the bed on my laptop of all things on a Mac of all computers too and I lost everything so for the past couple week uh, for the week or so I've been trying to get all my programs back trying to get back to recording and I finally have done that and we're back on the recording scheme of things but unfortunately I could not get that game of us playing the Hurricanes and I'm really upset too because it was a good game we did win the game four to three in overtime by a nice little goal there from Phil Kessel and uh so that's where we stand right now. The Leafs were, I think, were 25, 10, and 5, I think, or 2, or something along those lines. We'll see the records right here in a minute. Oh, no, we won't. I skipped the intro. So, uh, yeah, I'll just continue to talk to you guys. I'll try to do my best to play at the same time. So, the Maple Leafs have not had trouble scoring goals. We're 25 and 10, I think, for the regulation record. So, this team has not had a problem scoring goals. And it was pretty ironic, too, in that game against Carolina because... Cam Ward was in net for them, and he had a goals against average under two, but he was had a 500 record of like 10 and 10, and it was weird because he said the Leafs had trouble scoring goals, but Carolina had could keep the puck out of the net, but had problems scoring goals, and ironically, that's the game where seven goals were scored nonetheless, but whatever the case, uh, we're back here. I think our record is 5-1 and one as it stands because I think there was a game where Bernier or Reimer got pulled from the game, and we got put in. And uh, we eventually did win it. Oh, thank you for enough for being there on that rebound. There's Everly trying to center it again, and Kessel takes it off our idea. But uh, we got they got pulled in that game either or injured, and we got in for the game and got the win. So we're five and one now, which is pretty good. We got five wins under our belts, so we're looking good here. Edmonton is a pretty shitty team in their last ten games. I think they were two six and two, so that's not really the best. So, hopefully we can just continue to go along here and uh, play at our best. All right, the Nuge. Ooh, thank you, Morgan Riley, for taking that off of uh, Jordan Everly. He was waiting back door for that. Yeah, at least a 25 and 10. That's pretty, pretty good record up. Kadri with a low shot saved by, I'm assuming Scrivens is in that. I'm going to say Ben Scrivens is in that. Uh, oh, Jesus, man. Kessel comes out of nowhere and just takes the Nuge right off the puck. Oh, you missed that puck there, David Booth. No, it's Lupo. I'm sorry. All right, Cleft Bomb back to the pass. Clark said, oh, we're in front for a shot by Lupo, but a blocker save there from Scrivens. All right, Petrie over to Hall. Taylor Hall back to Gordon. Gordon looking for that feed shot out in front. Franzen takes it. Uh, fed right in front, though. Bozak will give it over to Clarkson. He's got a lot of room there. Clarkson, and of course, he runs right in. Up, oh, David Clarkson's down. Joffrey Lupo's going to step up for the fight on... Uh, who was that? Larson, I think. Philip Larson. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Petrie. I'm sorry. Clarkson's down. Somebody get the medical staff out there. He's got a head injury. He's got a concussion. Oh, my God. David Clarkson, he's still down. Bozak and freaking Gardner are just looking at him or Franzen, whoever that is. Come on, Lupo. Be his ass. Oh, dodge. Joffrey. Oh, get him, Joffrey. Oh, punch again. Oh, Jesus. Petrie's really leveling the Joffrey up. Down. Down he goes. As Clarkson still lays, uh, you know, consciousness on the ice. And uh, Petrie will win that fight there. But unfortunately, I think that might be it for David Clarkson. Oh, man, that's an elbow to the head, referee. How do you not call a penalty on that? That is a blatant elbow right to the freaking head. That was intent to injure there. Referee blind as always. And unfortunately, I think that might be it for David Clarkson for this game. Unless we see him back later. But you never know. All right, Fratton takes it back. And Santarelli, oh, nice pass over to Booth. Booth tries to make a deke up. He gets tripped up in there. And Booth now comes down with an injury as he's going to limp back to the bench. Jesus. Edmonton just taking us out and injuring our players. All right, back to Nurse. I think that was Nurse. And uh, we do make the save. Uh, was that Darnell Nurse? Mm, I don't know if it was. Uh, JVR wraps it on the back. Uh, Joe and Sue might have been. I don't know. Uh, Santorelli takes it over, back to Riley, back to the other point. If enough takes a shot over the... Oh, oh, oh and there's a shot by Matt Fratton, feed it by JVR. And that's going to be a goal for Matt Fratton, who's actually on the team now, filling out for an injury to, uh, I think, one of the fourth line or a third line player. I'm not really sure who's injured right now, but somebody is. And Matt Fratton 
takes that feed from JVR right behind the net, slap shot right in the slot, and he beats Ben Scriven's glove side. And off the post and in, nice shot by Fratton. And the Leafs will take that one to nothing lead over the Edmonton Oilers. So we lost David Booth right now, apparently, and we also lost David Clarkson, apparently, for the game. So we're down two forwards already. So some players are going to have to double shift. This is not a good start to the game. I mean, it's a good start, though. We're up one to nothing, and that's that's pretty clutch there, seeming that we're going to be down two players. Up the Nuge. There's a shot. Yep, I bit. I bit. Fuck me. That's my own fault. I bit. I bit on that one. Taylor Hall and it gets the goals there, and we're back back to being tied. That's my own fault there. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have committed that much. All right, Kadri feeds it over. Percy gets it back. Uh, Percy around the back of the net. He's still... Stick lifts it, but now Gordon will take it up on a two-on-one, three-on-one, actually. Perron, there's that feed from Yakupov, low shot by Nail Yakupov, and JVR will take it back. Polak, right in the middle to Kessel. All right, Kessel, little toe drag and send it around the boards. Schultz will get it, and Kessel will go in after his own rebound, waits for it. Schultz wide up the middle to Gordon, and he will go off sides. That was my own fault on that Nugent Hopkins goal. I bit way too much there. All right, Cliffbaum sends it in. Riley easily has it, taking the boards by Hoff enough. Back to Lievo, and he'll get that up to Komarov. Carter Ashton, and he'll dump it in. There goes Lievo going in for the four check. Komarov back to Ashton. Ashton winds up for a slap shot blocker save, though, by Scrivens. And Taylor Hall take it up the wing now. Taylor Hall and up. That's it for the first period, apparently. Yes, that is it. Time is right now in the first period. So, uh, one to one tie after the first four shots apiece for each team. Time and attack is in Edmonton's favor. We got the passing penalty each. Face loss. Yeah, it's pretty much even all the way through. All the way through. Even matchup here in Alberta. All right, so Nuge wins the face off here as we begin the second period. Taylor Hall takes it. Uh, gets around for enough. There's that feed to Nuge again. Oh, man, he had an easy shot there if he took it. Back to Schultz. Eberle back to Hall. Back to Marinson. Back to Hall. Shot and score. Edmonton's just moving the puck well right now. They're moving the puck well. I can't even handle it right now. I do not know what's going on. They're moving the puck well. Even after all those upgrades I just put into my player, it still seems that I can't do anything. All right, Kessel back to Kadri, back to shot, score. All right, it's going to be another one of those games, it seems. It's going to be another one of those games, it seems. Five shots apiece for each team and two goals past each goaltender already. Morgan Riley winds up on that slap shot from Kadri and Phil Kessel. And uh, that was a nice move by Phil. Feeds Morgan Riley, and I think uh, number 64 there might have screamed. Scrivens a little bit. Who's that? 64. Is that Yakupov? Uh, that might be Yakupov. Uh, yes, it was. He's the only Yakupov. He might have screened Scrivens a little bit on the slap shot by Morgan Riley. But thank God for the Leafs and their goal scoring. They tie this game back up at two. And we really need to buckle down here. And uh, we really need to buckle down and save some shots in this game for the rest of this game. We need to have a stellar second and a stellar third period right now. No more slip ups here. We already let in two goals on five shots. As Darnell Nurse is playing, as I expected. Uh, there's Mitch Mraz. Mitch Mraz uh, sends it around the back of the net. Uh, there's a text message there. Joe and Sue knocked off the puck by Kessel. And uh, Darnell Nurse takes it off. A oh, big hit there by JVR on Darnell Nurse to take it off. Uh, tried to feed uh, Kadri in the middle for a slap shot, but taken off. And here's Joe and Sue over to Mraz. Mraz, that saucer pass over to Joe and Sue, but taken off by... Uh, JVR oh, tried to get in between two Edmonton Oilers defensemen, but they clear it back out. Enough. Uh, misplays it. Nurse will take it back, and there's Joe and Sue. He'll send it around the back. Riley easily takes that. Sends it up the wing to Kadri. Kadri's got Fratton right with him. Fratton takes it off. Fratton back skating back to Riley. Back to Fanuff for a low shot, but taken right by Justin Schultz. Nurse over to the wing. Misses his pass though. Taylor Hall does get it back. Still over control of it. Taylor Hall ran into the boards of Riley and that's a hooking call. You can't do that. Taylor Hall going to go to the box for hooking Morgan Riley as the Leafs will go to a power play. Can't do that Taylor Hall. You lost the puck. Yeah that was a 
questionable call there. I guess Hall got pissed off that Riley might have driven him hard into the boards there. But Taylor Hall go the box we're hooking. Leafs will go to a power play here, which uh, it's a very good power play if I think if I don't stand corrected. And uh, just as I say that, Franza gets stick lifted, and Gordon will just dump that out. I'll let uh, I'll let Gardner grab it. All right, Jake, what do you got? And feeds it right to Lupul. Joffrey Lupul right up the middle. Oh, gets behind them. Uh, Fratton picks it up. Shot and glove saved by Scrivens. All right, we don't need to watch that. <clears throat> All right, come on, Leafs. Capitalize on this power play. And Bozak wins it. Back to Franzen. Out in front of Lupul. Shot blocked off by Scrivens. Lupul gets it back. Lupul out in front. Up. Tries to do that feed out in front like we usually do. And Nuge will dump it out. It's going to be way too far into the zone for me. Franzen will take it. Dishes it over to Gardner. Back to Fratton. And the Leafs will start up yet again. Fratton on the right wing. Dish pass out in front to Lupul. Big, big pad save there from Scrivens. And Petrie will just dump that one back down. That one will go right across me, but easily taken by Franzen. Goes around the back of the net, and he'll dish it right back up to Lupul. Shields it away from one. Bozak now, and he gets run into, but it does get the puck around the board. Taken off by Petrie, though, and he will dump it right off the head of Matt Fratton. Keeps it in. Franzen with a shot up. Got into the pads of Scribbins, and he will just hold still and cover it there. So six shots to one so far in this period. Edmonton has one, taken one shot, and it has gone in. All right, so definitely Leafs are powering over shots right now. All right, here's Nelly Yakupov. Yakupov lit into there. Oh, geez, that's got a uh, – that was deflected up. Perron tried to center it back for I think Gordon, but the Leafs take control. Here's Phil Kessel, toe drags, back to JVR. Shot blocked off by Scrivens. Petrie around the back of the net and being abused there by Kessel, but he does get it up to Gordon. There's Boyd Gordon. Boy Gordon out in front to Taylor Hall. Big shot up there. Mark, blah, blah, Morgan Riley words. Does manage to gain control of it. And uh, unfortunately, JVR will go offside. All right. Uh, is that 77? Is that Clarkson? Is he back? No, that's Komarov. Komarov is in the uh, game right now. Do Komarov and Clarkson have the same number? Might have to, might have to adjust to that. I don't even know. Uh, back to Darnell Nurse, over to Joe and Sue. Oh, he's faking the shots there. Trying to fake out the Pietro. There's Fontaine. Uh, the delay penalty. Oh, it's against us. Ugh, fuck. Justin Fontaine. From Jesse, Joe and Sue, and Darnell Nurse. Oh, let's take a 3-2 to two lead. Very, very bad game right now. This is looking like my Carolina game, to be honest. So, if you unfortunately, you guys couldn't see that. You're seeing a replay of it right now. Carolina did not take that many shots on us in that game either. And, unfortunately, we had we had some struggles in that game. Like this game. Can't seem to save a goddamn shot in the Oilers. They're not taking many shots on that, but they're difficult shots to save. And, like that one, I almost didn't miss, but I got a blocker on that. Uh, Purcell's just going to hold it in the corner. Guy's got 10 seconds still left. Six seconds. Come on, Kadri. Do something with it. Kadri takes a low slap shot. Rebound. Oh, Jesus. Collision in the back there. And that'll do it for the second. So Edmonton takes two shot or a couple shots in the second period, and they lead 3-2 to two now. 12-9. to nine. Not a very good game for us so far. Not a very good game for us. We got a rebound here. We need a perfect period. We need a perfect shutout period, and we need the Leafs to tackle on that goal scoring yet again. All right, JVR back to Fanuf. Uh, tried to feed Kadri again, but the lead, the Oilers do manage to block it out. Here's Taylor Hall. He'll bank it off the boards, but not far deep enough. Riley gets it up to JVR, up the wing to Kessel. Use that speed, Phil. Toe drags. Cuts back to the middle. Oh, tried to feed Kadri again for a slap shot. He gets it back, though. Riley out to JVR with a shot blocked off by Scrivens. Kessel tried to cut back in and tried to get it off Schultz, but unfortunately not. As Taylor Hall take it now. Back to Schultz. Schultz looking for an outlet, and he finds one in the Nuge over to Eberle. Delayed penalty now against the Maple Leafs. Here's Jordan Eberle taking a short side shot, and I'll cover that. As now we'll go to a power play for the Edmonton Oilers. Their first of the game. Don't know what the call was. Don't care. We can't worry about that right now. Clef bomb. Whoa, whoa. Big shot over the net. Gordon 
Back to Nurse. Back to Clef Bomb. Over to Yakupov. Out in front to Perron. There's that winding shot again. I think that one off the post. Thank God Morgan Riley was right there to block that one off. And Luke Wool out to Bozak. Bozak. Uh, Bozak. Fake shot. Tried to fake shot center it. Clef Bomb still takes it over. And back to Yakupov. All right, here's Nail Yakupov. Uh, poke check by Jake Gardner. Nice play. Bozak will get it. And Bozak will just do the right thing and dump it off the back. Chase in after it himself. Clefbaum take it to the boards. Bozak gets... Uh, does he have it? Yes, he does. Out in front. Oh, but... Uh, words, words. Santorelli took a quick shot on that. Was sitting behind Scrivens, but nobody drove to the heart. Drove to the net hard enough. Uh, Perron out in front. There's Nail Yakupov out in front. Gordon takes a shot, blocked off by DiPietro. Polak takes it now, back to Riley. And he'll just dump it out as the penalty will be over. Get in there, Bozak chase it. Uh, okay, now he's going to cut back. I don't know what the hell that was. Bozak steals it. Uh, short side shot on Scrivens. Left bomb out and back to Nurse, taken off by Kadri. Four checking now. Kadri gets it back. Uh, tries for a spin shot on the net, but Gordon takes it over and back to Perron. Here's David Perron. Uh, Gordon. Saved by Di Pietro. Dish that back out. It was a weird save animation that we made. Perron. Back to Nuge. Back to Perron. Makes a deke. Short side shot on that. Around the back there. And there we go. Another save. On the wraparound attempt by David Perron. And Phil Kessel takes it now. Phil Kessel. Back to JVR. JVR. Back to Franzen. Oh, man. JVR was winding up into that one. But unfortunately got poke checked off. And Taylor Hall back into the zone now. Run into, though. And he gets knocked off the puck. Franzen back to Gardner. And he'll give it back up to Kadri. Sends it up the middle to JVR. James Van Reemsdyke makes a deke. And tries for a shot again. He gets it back, though. Back to Fanuf. Back to JVR. Back to Ashton. Takes a low shot. Taylor Hall right there for the rebound, though. Kessel for checking a little bit. Knocks Marinson behind. And the Nugent. The Nugent. Ted Nugent. Everly back to Hall. Hall. Looking for something. Trying to feed the Nuge there. Hall gets it back. Back to Schultz. Back to Hall. And there's a low shot there on that, but gets blocked in front by the defenseman. And Komarov up to Ashton. Ashton back to Riley, and that's going to be offsides. All right, 420. Just blazing it right now. Just blazing it right now. Down by one. Come on, Leafs. You guys can do this. We don't need to see a highlight package of Martin Marinson. 15 hits apiece. Lots of hitting happening in this game as well. Right, Santorelli wins the faceoff. Percy dumps it in. Lievo will forecheck in after it. And Schultz apparently, though, gets it back to Everly. Over to Hall. Hall makes a deke to the... Oh, Jesus. Taylor Hall winding up for a slap shot there. Justin Schultz goes into there, forcing it, but the Leafs get it back and Santorelli into the zone now. Toe drags back to Percy, back to Lievo. Uh, he gets deflected on his shot. Fratton around the back for Lievo, and Scrivens just knocks it out front with his stick. And Perron will take it now with a minute 20 still left in this game. All right, so we're probably going to have to pull ourselves here. Perron back to Marinson. Another blocker save there by DiPietro. Bouncing puck. Schultz takes it now. Schultz, oh, trying to feed it for Perron. And DiPietro knocks it off with his stick. And are we going to get pulled yet? I don't think so. I'll make my way out to center ice. Am I getting pulled? No, I don't think so. No, the marker's not up there yet. And Yakupov will take it back. All right, so once we gain possession of it now, now we're going to get pulled. All right, Perron taking off the puck. Polak gets it back. Go, 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 go. All right, Kessel is right there. Empty net. We get the extra attacker on. Phil Kessel's in with 24 seconds left. Slap shot by Kessel. Blocked in front. Kadri out in front again. Schultz. Uh, they take it back. Mirage will give it over to Fontaine, who will probably hit the empty net. No, we missed it by a mile. Riley takes it back, though. 13 seconds still left. Komarov takes it. Leo Komarov passes off to Kadri. Kadri out front to Kessel, and they're going to go offsides with 7.2 seconds left. I don't think it's going to happen, boys. I think we're going to get our loss here. How many shots have we faced in this game? 17. Yeah, we kind of fought back into it, I guess, but seven seconds still left here. I don't think this is going to happen. I think we're finally going to get a loss here. A very bad game for me. Komarov gets it back. Riley uh, deflected by Joe and Sue. Misses the empty net again. One second left. And unfortunately, the Leafs are going to suffer a loss here as DiPietro is going to get his first loss in five games as the Edmonton Oilers steal one from the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-2. Pretty bad first two periods for me. We played a solid third period, didn't let up anything in this period, but 
a very, very bad first and second period for us where we light up like three goals on five or nine shots. So, unfortunately, we could not get it done. The Professor does, in fact, stop a lot of the Maple Leaf shots. 17 shots apiece, 3-2 to two win for the Oilers. Time and attack. Yeah, we just didn't have possession of the puck that much either in this game. So, unfortunately, we will suffer a loss there. That's all right. That's all right. At least we're winning a lot of games anyway, so it's all right. We can take a loss here and there. Can let Bernie or Reimer get back into the swing of things. Let them get on their winning pages because they were just winning. Whoever was in that, they were just winning a ton of games. So it's all right. Can't win them all. It's a bad game for us. Don't worry about it. All right, we can just simulate along here. Let's go back to it. So 25-11-3. We still have a really good record. We have 53 points so far through, what is that, uh, 36, 39 games. Yep, David Clarkson's going to be out for a while, as I assume so. So more call-ups will be ma being made for this team. That's all right, though. David Clarkson wasn't acting like he was really doing anything important anyway. So we're not starting that game against Nashville, as I definitely assumed. So let's see whoever goaltender is in that. Let's see if they can get back on the winning side of things. As they suffer a regulation loss against Nashville. All right, so that's two losses in a row. Don't want to start a losing streak here, Toronto. We got to get ourselves back on the winning side of things, or at least get some points in here. Tampa Bay, they're our okay team, 500. Let's get ourselves a win here, Leafs. There you go. There's a regulation win against the Leafs. 15, 23, and 4, New Jersey Devils. Maybe we'll get a start here against them. Uh, Bozak's back to the roster. I guess he got injured or something. Uh, we're not going to be starting that game against the Devils, even though they really suck. But there we go. We got a win under our belts yet again, so we're back. We're back to within range. And we unfortunately lose that game against the Devils. Of course. All right, David Boost back to the roster. All right, so 26-13-3 uh, and three game here against Pittsburgh. Not starting that game as I definitely expected. Buffalo might get a game against Buffalo or Edmonton. Would like the game get some my revenge against Buffalo. Uh, we overtime lost that against Buff uh, against Pittsburgh, and we're back at it again against the Sabers. So this team, wh whoever our general manager is, wherever we go, seem to love putting us against the Buffalo Sabers. So. I think this is going to be our fourth or our fifth time in this series that we're going to be playing the Buffalo Sabres. So, 26, 13, and 4, they are, what are the least? One, I think they're 1-1-1 one, one, one their last three games. So, let's see if we can get another win under our belts. Let's see if we can get back, get to a 6-2. 6-2 six and, two. Six, two and 1. As we face off against the Buffalo Sabres, are we home? We are home against Buffalo. Okay. So, we'll be back in the ACC next time. Uh... With DiPietro taking on the Sabres, and uh, we'll see if we can get a win. We'll see if we can play a little bit better next time. All right, so thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe as always, and we'll see you next time.